the most important decision you can make above any on the face of the earth is deciding that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what happens, you're going to live in a beautiful state. And what the hell does that mean? It means that you're not going to suffer. It means a beautiful state is that you're going to be happy, but that's only one. Or you're going to feel creative. Any state that's a beautiful state is really the core essence of who you are without fear. Like, what am I ever do yo? Why you do this to me? Like, I'm taking good care of you. I'm investing in you. Why are you doing this to me? Welcome back to the raw guys. What's up? So I'm here in Target. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm here in Target. Just got some stuff. I pick up some, you know, stuff that I ran out of. And now I'm about to go check out. Obviously, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm coming from the gym. I'm just gonna come by real quick. I got some like skincare stuff. I, I think I can give you guys a quick little haul when I get home. But yeah, I'm gonna say, you know what? Let me just go ahead and start the vlog off. Because, guys, I had this camera in this big old bag, my gym bag. And it was just drowning in there. <laughs> so I did kind of lazy if I take it out. It was such a piece of work if I take it out. I would. Like, yeah, I'm gonna check out now. I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna make me something to eat. I am so hungry. I had oats. I had some oats and all my vitamins and stuff and orange juice before I came to the gym this morning. I had a really great workout. I actually had to run some errands before I went to the gym. So that's what I did. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna take a show of my life and make for dinner today. But I want something nice. <laughs> Uh, that annoying thing when you want something nice, but you don't know what. Last time I tell me to nobody in a day, so I'm going to go self check out. Alright. you know and you know they're sponsoring a girl's vlog today so i'm super grateful and i'm excited to go ahead and try on the pieces before i jump into it yes i do have a discount code so if you guys do like you know if you see anything you like and you want to go ahead and purchase you can get dollars off when you use my code su15 it's on the screen yeah and that applies to every and any piece that's on the site okay so i love that for us um also, each piece that I try out for you guys today will be in my description box. So just check it out down there. Very easy to access. You know, the direct link, everything will be there. So, yeah. So now that I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of all that, let's go ahead and jump into what I got. Ready? Great. The first set of pieces I want to show you guys is this top and leggings that I'm rocking right now. So to start off, um, the leggings that I'm wearing, this is their is the high-waisted side pocket shaping training seven seven eight leggings and this is in the color deep top so i got a size small for everything and as you guys know i don't know if i've mentioned this enough but i am five one so you could use me kind of like a guide as to where you think these pieces will, pieces will catch you on your body you know how it will look and so forth so 70 percent of the leggings is um nylon and it feels amazing on my skin. It's really soft. Like, it's, it, it comes all the way. Let me show you guys where it catches me. It comes right at the top of my ankle, as you can see. And I love the color. So, that's kind of like the fit of it. It feels really, really soft on my skin. It's, it's very form-fitting. I feel like... You know, so how comfy this feels, like you don't ha even have to limit just wearing it to the gym. You could wear this out, like if you're running errands, you know, you're going shopping, you want to feel cute, you want something that's very, you know, soft and, you know, on the skin. This is giving that. And then I also love a good high-waisted leggings, like it's just my kind of thing. Most, if not all of my leggings are high-waisted. That's just how I prefer it to be you know and you know it hugs the body properly like it, it it's doing what it's supposed to do 
So Halar knew what they were doing when they were, you know, making this leggings. I love it. A nice little detail I didn't mention was, I forgot to mention was the pockets on the side here. So, you know, you can fit your phone in there when you work out. You want to put something else in there, you can. Let's fit something else. It's very stretchy. And it's very stretchy. And it don't feel like it's going to burst out. It feels really durable. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so that's how that looks. Let's check the material, how squat proof it is. So, so you see, very nice thick material. That's, that's, that's how that's looking. Let's go. <laughs> and then for the top, this is the shoulder shaping for a slim look. This is the ribbed halter strap thumb hole cropped yoga sports top and by the way the leggings is retail for $39 so is this um I got it in a size small again as I said before and it it feels really good let me tell you so I love the material of this like again like it you see the lines and stuff and it's really nice and thick that's another thing i forgot to mention with the leggings as well like it's nice and thick it doesn't feel thin or anything like it is perfect and then you know it has the thumb holes here so if you like your your tops to have that thumb hole it got that and yeah it's very nice and stretchy again very soft and well very comfortable on the skin it's very form-fitting I love how um, you know they did a little styling here on the top you know two straps and then you know it's I, lo I like that little style it's really nice and then the back the back looks like this you know just super simple very simple so the next piece that I want to show you guys is the high-waisted stretchy knit denim casual leggings again this retails so $39 as well so I have this in the color denim black again a size small all right and this is how it looks guys I need to let you know that even though these uh, materials like it's very nice and thick it's also very lightweight very comfortable it's very stretchy it's breathable that is so important and I feel like these even when you sweat in them you know it won't be as bad so it's yeah yeah good sweat proof leggings so I feel like yo it's just filled with all the right qualities and I love that again it comes all the way down to like the top of my ankles and I really like that it has a little detailing right here like I don't know if you can see it yet I think you can see it so that's really nice like a, a nice little butt, butt lifting kind of vibe going on I really love that you know it, it it's a vibe so you can pair this up with any top you know that you want to <clears throat> you know pair it up with because it's a neutral color the material feel good even though it's denim it's not like harsh on the skin or anything so I love that again let's do the squat test and it's looking good the top that I'm wearing with this leggings um, it is the double strap backless twisted workout crop tank top this it retails for $29 of course these are USD quotes guys this is in black as you can see and Again, really nice, thick, stretchy material. It's kind of like double-lined. It's kind of like double-lined under here, and it's thick. Hugs the body really nice. It's so soft, very comfy. Look at that. You could spread it out. You could wear it like that if you wish. It looks so good. And then in the back, it has this little detail here. Back there at the gym. <laughs> yeah it's almost so good so good both are black but you can see the contrast based on the textures so this is a different texture from this so you know it's like a whole different vibe but all in all so nice so for the top here it's 87 percent um nylon okay and then the rest is elastine and that's the combination for like everything so far the next one is the cloudful crossover 
pocket plane um, 7 8 leggings and this retails for $29 so yeah this is like a beige color um, it's really cute really nice very similar to the very first leggings that I showed you guys again really really comfortable on the skin very stretchy all right the material on this one is this is 77% nylon and 23% elastane all right with all of these overall you want to make sure that you take proper care of the material as well so you know um machine wash this cold and do not dry clean do not iron do not bleach wash with colors of course because this is colored nice and form fitting i just love the color i love these kind of colors like neutrals are like really really like it because they can go with almost anything you can pair them up with a nice colored sneakers a nice colored sports bra because they're so calm like it's neutral again this has pockets so let's just do a little stretch test you put your phone in if you want to put something bigger got my glasses case and it's it's nice and stretchy it's all in there Definitely squat proof, okay? And it comes all the way down to the top of my ankles. Fits perfect. Again, I am 5'1". I wear size small in all of these pieces, okay? And that's generally it for like all of my clothing, like for the standard size. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's try on haul. All in all, I think Halara really, really takes pride in their quality. That's that's what I love about them. I can tell that right, like based on the package that I have today, everything, it was great with the material. The material, I can see that they take that serious. It doesn't feel cheap. doesn't look cheap. It's stylish. It's trendy. It's a vibe. Okay, and I feel like it's both suitable for the gym and it's suitable for everyday life because that's just me. That's kind of like the wave I'm on right now. Like, I have leggings that, like, even though I'll probably categorize some things, I feel like I'm just looking for comfort, ultimately. Like, you want you want comfort in everything, like, that you wear. I mean, I do get some time you be just, like, focused on the style and you just kind of want to, you know, maintain the image. But ultimately, we do want to be comfortable in our clothes that we wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I feel like, yeah, I could definitely grab one of these leggings and just go to the supermarket going, you know, get some business done. You know, you could style it many different ways and it would look great. It's flattering on the body, very nice and form-fitting. It gets the job done. If you guys are interested in getting any of the pieces or you just want to check out the rest of the size, see what they have to offer, I do have a discount code. It's 215. So do go ahead and make use of that. And yeah, that's it. Any other further information like you want to know about shipping and all of that, it will be in my description box and it will be on their site as well. So please go ahead and check that out. And now that you guys saw my little mention for today's vlog, let's jump on into the rest of the vlog. Let's go. So, okay, so I really just went into Target mostly to get like some um, re-up on my skincare. So yeah, I decided that, you know what, whatever I got uh, in terms of, you know, food items, I, yeah, tomorrow we're going to go grocery shopping, so tomorrow I'll do, like, a proper grocery haul, but, yeah, it was just some stuff, like, one and two, something, I don't know, really, like, food, no, some stuff, so I saw, I saw this, I've never tried it, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm a, I just got it, it's not gonna be my main toner, I just get it to try out, this is Dickinson's original witch, he's a poor perfecting toner, because I ran out of my toner that I've been using for a couple months straight, and I was at my last bottle, and it finally finished, and that one is like a tea tree one that I use from a store in Jamaica, and yeah, my other that, so it's when my go back to Jamaica before we can't get that so in the meantime and I think okay I just got these to try as I said it's not gonna be my main it's not gonna be my main toner because I got a I got a serum v1 was it a serum v1 I got this Garnier skin active water rose micellar cleansing water I can see can y'all see that yeah I got that I've never actually tried that one before, but the previous one that I was using, which micellar water did I use? It was it CeraVe micellar water. I use it to remove my makeup. It's really good with doing that. I got two of these because my sister them here they on the dunning, so I never want to like run out. But this is the CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser, guys. You know I've been using my CeraVe cleansers 
from last year. From when I said upon the CeraVe journey, like CeraVe don't fail me. You understand? There, there was a whole new skincare line that I want to try out, but I actually saw this review because I've been seeing a lot of different reviews on it, and mm, for the most part, people are okay with it. Um, but it's a very pricey brand. And I actually went on the website, put everything in my cart, and I was like, hmm. When I put everything in my cart, it was like everything coming to like $500. I was like, hmm, let me do a little bit more research before I go ahead. Because, okay, it was no problem for me to go ahead and buy it, but it's just like, I don't want to go buy it. I need to do agree with me, or it's just like weird. Because, you know, sometimes, not because I'm expensive, that means it's going to work. Everything will work for everybody. So... I mean, I saw this one dermatologist uh, review and she really was very much in depth and she just didn't recommend a lot of the stuff. And so I'm holding off, you know, I'm holding off on that. She did make some very factual points and I had to look into that. So I'm still researching that brand. Won't mention it, but yeah. So I'm still there with my CeraV. I don't have no problem with it. I don't know why, but I just, I feel like, you know, my skin is doing well and stuff. And you know, I hate talking about my skin because anytime I come on the camera and talk about my skin, <sighs> by next week, one bump come up on my face. I'm not like that, man. I mean, you see from when we tell us I'm not the skincare, I'm not even bad. I'm just never bad in the vibes and it's just like, uh. One minute is skin good, the next minute it just betray you. Like, what me ever do, yo? Why you do this to me? Like, I'm taking good care of you. I'm investing in you. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. Uh, I just got a, I just got a conditioner. I've been using this line on my natural hair. And I ran out of conditioner. So I just got another conditioner. I got this body wash because I was intrigued. Oh, actually, I did not tell you guys, but I've been using native, the native body wash for months now. <laughs> And it's actually really nice and subtle on my skin. What I do realize though, it's really kind of, it can be drying. So I do use the, I use aqua for, I use aqua for to moisturize because like regular lotion in other cool, yeah? No, no, but aqua for is super moisturizing, leave me very nice and glowy and stuff. So it really reintroduces that moisture into my skin. So today I, let me try out this um this one is candy shop sour sour berry belts body wash um the other one that i've been using is a eucalyptus mint is you uh, what what body and body works oh, i was supposed to go to body and body works i was supposed to buy me some candles this smells good yeah i smell this it smells good so i'm gonna i'm gonna get it. that that's why i got it <laughs> um and then I needed a facial brush. I needed one more of those because I always have them, but sometimes I end up just forget to use them and stuff, and I just haven't reinvested in one. So I got me a nice little, um, this is Plum Beauty Facial Cleansing System, and this says it cleanses and exfoliates. So I got that brush. And then, you know, re up on some hygiene stuff. I needed another act. Um, I'll wash. Okay. I got this Plum Beauty facial roller, and this just overall, you know, improves the skin. I've never actually really tried it, but I said, you know what, let me go ahead and get me one. You know, I've always seen it all over, so I said, you know, it can't hurt to try. I got a leave in conditioner, so there's just a few hair care stuff in here for my natural hair. She, she moisture, and I'm a woman I used before, I know this, so. I actually got um, the shampoo as well, sulfate free moisture and shine, cream of nature, argan oil from Morocco. I actually love this line. I love the hair pudding from this line. It is it it, it really um, goes well with my natural hair. Like for me personally, it it agree with my ear. Love, 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 love it. Um, I got this Hydra Boost Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer with sunscreen it's fragrance free and it's spf 50. Hmm. well the sunscreen one we use currently is the black girl sunscreen which is amazing but you know neutrogena is really good usually really good so i'd say you know i would just give it a try um my black girl sunscreen isn't and my black girl sunscreen that i use is in combination with a moisturizer so that's what i've been using let me say I'll go ahead and give this a try. I'm not finished with that yet, but 
I'll give it a try and see how I like it. If I don't like it, then I'll just go back to my black girl sunscreen because that is top notch. Love it. I got this Camille Rose Almond Joy Twisting Butter, Sweet Almond Milk and Honey. A supreme soft styling butter with an indulgent nutty aroma crafted to nourish and elongate tresses. So yeah, I got this little product here for my hair to just, you know, really enhance that moisture and that fluffy plumpness in my hair. Because my logo my hair just nice and bouncy and, you know. Yeah, I got this little thing of the Killer Deep Access Patch. Um, these are just some patches, pimple patches. Yeah. And then, just always have to have a big bottle of a Tresemme conditioner. I use these a lot. I got this Camille Rose Honey Hydrate uh, Leave-In uh, Conditioner. Yeah, this leave-in conditioner and I was like this looks like honey for your hair. I was very intrigued and so That's why I got it because it literally looks like honey for your hair Like if you put this down and they don't read it, they're gonna think this this is honey. So I'm very intrigued to use that product And yeah, this is the actual toner that I got from CeraVe This is a hydrating toner though. So yeah, this is for normal to dry skin and it says hydrates, removes leftover residue, and helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide, alcohol free. So, I feel like, you know, their line is just top notch. As I said before, I don't want to keep on repeating myself. But yeah, that's, that's the stuff that I got. A few stuff for my skin and a few stuff for my hair. And that's it. That's it, so... Oh, I never checked on it out too much. Anyway, I'm going to look something for cook and eat and kind of just relax for a little bit. Oh, I actually want to make myself a drink in the meantime. I want to test out. I actually got this creamer, so I'm going to make something with it. Let, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. You know why? <laughs> it's, a bit, it's because it's the zero caramel macchiato. So, you know, it's on the healthier side. It's not like, you know, the normal one that has the full flavor to it. But it's to make you feel good, you know. As I said, I, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm kind of like going to start tapering back my diet. You guys know I'm always cycling, right? If you pay close attention you realize there's sometimes when I, I cut down on my rice and there's an next time where I just eat normal because so for me it's very important that I lifestyle and don't do strict diet straight throughout my life I'm not gonna have any fun I'm a normal human being I need to have fun with my food and just every aspect of life I do not need to feel like I am constantly like holding back you know so like yeah but now I'm ready to kind of taper down again so I think this drink is fitting for that. <laughs> I'm gonna waste my summer name, so my drink tab. <laughs> but actually, I wouldn't get back that cream. I wouldn't get back the zero caramel macchiato. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. I probably could add some more and it would taste better, but you know what, too? If you do the regular milk, it would taste even better as well. So. That's another thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you in the next clip. Right now, I'm just going to unwind, relax, and then get to some work. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So, it's the next day. Going grocery shopping now. Mm, it's quite windy outside. So, I'm going to just wear this big jacket because it's windy. It's not that cold today. But, yes, when the wind blows, it's like 
make it feel like it's half the temperature so yeah just i'll go do grocery shopping now and it's actually my off day from the gym so yeah that's what we're on our way to do and yeah take you guys along with me for Let's go guys. First stop, the meat stop. Uh, last night it sounded like it did windy outside. It did hear it outside how it's windy, windy, windy. Yeah. Alright, yeah, take up that one, yeah. Yeah. That? Yeah. Back at home, guys. So, and essentially, <laughs> we started to started to unpack some of the stuff already. Who thing remember? I said I was doing a grocery haul, right? Well, that's what I told you guys. So, there's some stuff left in here. Everything kind of just mixed up. I went to the I went to the health store. Went to the health store. I got this nice piece of papaya. I'm actually going to peel this. No, so I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. Come and go peel it along with some. Um, yesterday, I did pick up some strawberries and mangoes and blueberries. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fruits because I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna know more cook it because I did get some meats, which I'm gonna show you guys in a few. Because it did see when I went to I went to the store, right? So, so I'm gonna up my salad intake just like old times so that's gonna what that's what i'm going to have for like most of our pro, post workout meals since recently i've just been having shakes and kind of just freestyling and going with the flow but as i said i i don't remember if i told you guys but i'm actually tapering back down my diet a little bit because you know i cycle out as i go along and i just tailor what i eat as it relates to my goals and just to overall be you know healthy and stuff so i got some sardines <laughs> i got some salmon too i'm gonna have one for chicken so you know i can do you know different kinds of salads and stuff what i didn't get was avocado or pear usually get some but from what they may get it man use up all that in time so some of it will be bad sometimes hey i got some oh i got this Oh, I got two green seeds and something. This is actually some. I'm saying I'm going to try this out. This is a free to cooking base with coriander, what, whatever that means. But it basically has these bunch of seasonings here. So it's like a green season. And I got two of these things. I got a different brand. This I'm used to. This is like regular green seasoning when I get. But I love to season up my meat with green seasoning overall. You know, it's a nice little blend. So yeah. Put the, I'm, I'm gonna just put the stuff, you know, up as I go along. I got some kale, I got some spinach because you guys know greens is a definite must. I also got some spirulina um, at the health store. That's when I got the papaya because they didn't have the usual brand I'm used to, but they say I could get as much as I want in this bag from another brand. I remember the name of the brand, but I said okay. So I went ahead and I just got this at the health store. And I'm gonna get seasonings, that like sweet cocoa, and stuff. There's a few snacks in here. And in terms of snacks, we just mostly get like planting chips and stuff. Got some ginger extract and some. This one is lime and ginger. I really just wanted the lime, but mm, a little bit of ginger in here. I, I don't mind. So I got these. I always get these. Got some molasses. Alright, I got this. I, I said I want to try this out just because I feel like when we go to Chilitos, like we're sure we're always getting like refried black beans and stuff. So I'm gonna just say, you know, I'm gonna look up something like a recipe and I say, I'm gonna see how I can cook this. Some black beans. So I just got a can of this. It's the first time I'm going to attempt to cook this. So I don't know how I'm gonna cook it, what I'm gonna cook it with, but it always tastes so good on everything I get. Chipotle, everything. I got some spaghetti, not too much, you know, some peas, yeah, so that's everything in that bag, more sweet pot um, sweet pepper, and oh, I got sweet potato as well, and yams, we're here, we get yellow yams, sweet potato, and
and got some corn, some carrots, and some ginger. So I got some corned beef, I got some tuna. Some of them already packaged, but these I leave these in the sink because I'm going to season them. So I have some salmon here, I have pork chops, I have some stew beef, and I have some smoked turkey neck. So now and then we can make the salmon, I don't know, with like yam and sweet potato and mash. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, but no. So for right now, I'm going to chop this up really nice with my mangoes and my strawberries and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to snack on this right, right now. Stuff. I just can't go without the place. I just love that nice scent, man. And the plugins are in. Like the house always smell real good. So yeah, I just real pop a few candles. <laughs> what? Can I see? I got four. I'm not take up no more. Um, I got any more plugins? I need to get more plugins, but I'm gonna need a lot, a lot. I just want that eucalyptus one, but I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any. And I think I'm just gonna get like maybe three, three of this. Oh my gosh, they got strawberry pumpkin. Oh my gosh, they have champagne toasty plugins. That's gonna be so nice. Not plug in the wall at them yeah. In the living room one time because it will be more concentrated. Oh, and then I got a champagne toast room spray. What? Where are, where are you sitting? What are you even saying? I'm done. I'm not else. I eat this. I'm going to cash out. Put a month or something again. I knew what I came in here for. I'm never coming here for Lele. <laughs> I have a meeting in a few two at the bank. So, <sighs> I mean, I, I got stuff to do. Oh, and I broke a nail. I don't know what one, but I want to come out. So I'm going to fix it. I have that meeting. Then I'm going to head to the salon. Mm, I'm going to see my gushion because I just showed you guys a whole session in the last vlog. So, yeah. But, oh yeah, I think last time I shopped here, somebody suggested that to make sure I say, me get my coupon or something like so. Yes, guys, I got a big discount last yeah, time. So, I'm happy about that. You guys, no one goes to go do some makeup shopping and go and get some new products. But, I'm going to go my next month because I'm going to go to my next month. 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 No, no, I'm going to Yeah, put it on. And you guys know me. You guys know me. What make everybody on the comments of today? <laughs> you guys know me. I love, I love what about, I love what about at the store them. Not any, any what about. But you guys, you guys get what I mean. <laughs> you know? So. I'm gonna make one more stop, grab what I need to get, and then I'm gonna head home, drop off all of them luggage here because I'm gonna want time right now, I promise. So, I, oh, I'm gonna need to eat something. I'm gonna make a salad though, really easy, really quick. And I don't even know what I'm gonna have for dinner, but yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, where am I at? Are you? If I, I want to send me something, I say no. I got all mercy. Alright guys, I'm still coming back. I will be back. 24 hours later. I was straightening up. 
example in the previous clip I didn't get to honestly I remember for kind of vlog when I was finishing up to be honest um, but now I'm just like prepping some stuff because this week after tomorrow is when I truly like start you know tapering down or cycling out how I eat certain things like rice so tomorrow is my last like day of really well yeah it's my last day of having rice overall I'm not gonna have no more rice after tomorrow I'm gonna cook a nice pot of rice and feast tomorrow so yeah after that and I'm serious guys you know I've been doing this so it's just been a while since I actually <clears throat> Ooh, that scotch bunny to your hat yeah man um chop up some seasoning but uh, I know it's a jump by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna get everything I need to get done. Yesterday I fixed the nail. Um, it was really quick, very convenient. No hassle at all. So yeah. Um, it's gonna be the last day of me having rice. I'm gonna just be back into like full on veggies and green juices slash smoothie and my yam and my sweet potato straight out. I don't do a lot of broccoli. Anymore when it comes down to veg, why? Because broccoli make it get bloated. But for me, it's something I realized, and after I research, I realized okay, really contribute to my bloating. And I, I bloat easily. I bloat quite easily. So yeah, when I really have broccoli like that <clears throat> anymore, it's not the best veggie if you're trying to like really like clean out. So um. Yeah, I'm going to prep some tuna and some sardine for salads that I'm going to have for lunch. And I'm going to have one of those salads right now. What am I going to have for dinner? Some leftover. Um, some salmon and something. I might just do that with some veggies um, too. Or I think I might do that with a piece of yam. So yeah, two pieces of for, for dinner. Um, and I, you see this there because I'm going to make a drink when I finish. I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be up for a while. It's it's early evening time, but I'm gonna be up because my the vlogger for edit from scratch and stuff. So oh my gosh, I had planned to do more this vlog, but I never even say what I wanted to do because I will do it in an upcoming vlog anyway. But I was supposed to do some more shopping for sure. Yeah, so that's just a little update of what's going on right now, and then I'm gonna season my meat for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna make some nice smoked turkey neck with broad bean Ooh. so and I already put the peas here I don't know yeah you can't see the pot peas is in here soaking and I put the broad bean in here to soak so yeah girl I'm just have to put my food then because this week is something serious oh yesterday for dinner I actually I never get to come back to you after I don't even remember after which clip but I I just ordered um, I ordered in and I got Panera it was actually really good I got this nice teriyaki chicken salad with a uh, uh, chipotle chicken and bacon cheese melt oh it was so good like half of it half of a sandwich and, and the salad oh god it was so good and a green smoothie you guys made it hungry yeah that's the worst but honestly the salad wasn't a like very filling portion to be honest it really wasn't a filling portion so it's good to me to that and cheese melts but that was good like you know when you just the camera did far away to be honest so i just yeah i just didn't end up vlogging but uh yeah so yesterday last night i was supposed to, today was supposed to really be a film day for me but I'm taking a bit of a breather. But yeah. So um last night. Oh god. Okay, hold on, I get a call. I was before I got a call. Um I was just saying that last night my seven I watched some show. Well, first of all, I did start watching Emily in Paris from like the week started and stuff and you know nice cool watch me never want to rush it off watch it in a one go because sometimes in the light that you watch off the whole thing and then i'm not going to watch so i was kind of saving it i was kind of saving a season of uh the sardine i was kind of saving it i finally finished watching it last night because me didn't make sure i start watching it too and she was like girl me can't even go no further with the discussion with you after you have to finish watching but the last three episodes because i think uh, yeah i didn't reach episode seven 
I'm so annoyed. Like, listen, honestly, I'm not that pumped to see the next season. It was a good watch, but I mean, I like how Emily actually transitioned, like, transformed. Like, the way she ended up being in this season is, like, so selfish and she didn't realize it. It's like she just, like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I never like how it go like with just everything. I'm gonna like oh how she do Alfie. I'm sorry, spoiler alert, big spoiler alert, guys. If you can watch it, please just jump the part here. I don't want to spoil it for nobody wanna watch it yet. Um, so just skip it out. But um Yeah girl, I just I just think she has transformed into somebody that is just like you know the sweet bubbly girl is like she don't she can't take no for an answer she can't take no she don't know her limits you know she don't know her boundaries but it was a great watch it was a great watch and you know just like life i feel like and this is from the angle of she and the chef she and gabriel it's like why drag so much other people go through other relationships and at the end of the day, only no son they just want each other. Why does they with eat with each other? Like y'all gonna hurt so much other people in the process, you know, like just there with each other. Even though I do understand that yeah, initially she did um he did um have Camille as his girlfriend. But like, you know, I don't know. She decided to still be friends with Camille, even though she knew what's say she and Gabriel have a thing like why befriend a girl why like whatever whether Camille friend she or she friend Camille just you should have been honest that's all I'm saying be honest with people those string people are long and then when it reached far now y'all play like poor thing and it's just like ah oh, it was like so annoying honestly so that kind of annoyed me and then girl after we finish watch that I make some tuna now. Come on, get tired of the sardine every day. I'm actually gonna take some of one of them now. I don't know which one now. This is some pickled like seasonings that I did like pepper, onion, carrot, all that. I need to make some new one. But yes, yeah, so I can put this aside and then I have more seasonings here for the tuna. So um oh god. So I'm gonna say me, I go watch. The move the I thought it was a movie, I never knew it was a series. My god, what swarm? All I know is when I went on the thing again, spoiler alert. Skip it out if you are gonna watch it, but I wanna spoil it for you. So I'ma know what really um pushed me for go watch it quicker. For go watch it quicker than I did. Than I thought I would was um I see on Instagram, like everybody going crazy about the scene with Damson Idris and Chloe. So I was like, I want to go on. I want to keep. To be honest, me never really see no, like, big star like that act such like, with us, you know, X-rated sexual scene, you know? So I was kind of like, what as it relates to Chloe? Me I know, she, she you know, she's trying to, like, develop into this big star and something me never expect for this she do that role they like all out the way she not say like i expect if she going to do a sexual scene okay fine but to level some is it girl girl yeah so that did throw me may i watch it and me say okay all right cool it's quite a nice little you know yeah, nice little nice black drama series then then if you will and I realized that our friend she not so right in another head. I could see you know, I could not see it from money, but I didn't I could, girl when I see she killed the third person, I was ready to just go. You know what my I stop watching it is my connection with the TV and the internet went out like I did after restart the morning and stuff. I, went, I really never got up because it was really late anyway. So it was like 3 a.m. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take me a watch your essay. Mm -mm. It's a very weird series. Put a damn pop on my mood. To be honest, I'm um, gonna think it's gonna be like a hot show, like, you know? And then when I went ahead to like see like an analysis, like on Google, 
they were comparing like the artist what where they shall go crazy about in the show and I'm compare the person to like Beyonce they, yeah, they must say them just I tried to depict how wild or how extreme it can get for like some fans when it comes on to like really huge mega stars or whatever how obsessive they can become and how toxic it can really be in their lifestyle or whatever i don't want to go into it too much i was i really i, I was at like i was three quarter in episode two that's where the the internet connection went out i'ma say yeah even when it come back on me nah me nah look me done me nah watch no more yeah it's too weird so i never bother if you watched it let me know what you think about it down below let me know it's uh, emily in paris let me know like I know I've been saying I want to watch Emily in Paris and you guys are like it's nice I and mean, it's nice it's true. It's a nice watch. It's just that I was just I was just annoyed. Like I you see me as a person, communication is key. I'm like when people tell me the truth. I like when people straightforward. Me as a person I'm gonna be around the bush with people. And I feel like because I'm so straightforward too, that's why I No, I have a very small circle. So Mm -mm. If you can straight forward with me and me can straight forward with you, we not meant to be around each other. Alright guys, so I'm in my room right now. I got fresh, but I'm put on my sweater because. Uh. Um, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, yeah, my eyes are fully bare, like no lashes, no nothing, and I'm gonna just be giving my eyes a little break unless it is like I do a full glam, like I'm going out and I put on some strips for that occasion but in terms of going to a lash tech yeah no so i'm just giving you guys like a little update on <laughs> remember last vlog i did a little diy um lash extensions on my own so uh yeah that lasted almost one week so i took those off yesterday because i saw where like the base of them were loosening so i just took them off they were very easy to come off um so i feel like maybe if maybe i want them to last longer maybe i have to have a different glue or some somebody had suggested a glue in the last vlog I, i'll have to go back through the comments to see what she said but she said that she does them on her own and she used it she used a specific type of glue so if you're watching this vlog hi <laughs> you could just like comment that again i'm gonna see if i find about that comment though and thank you so much for the suggestion um i think i had replied i don't remember but yes everybody was so intrigued about those lashes though and i think it's a good it's a good like alternative you know um and so i didn't remember to put the link in my previous log so i want you guys to check out my amazon storefront link that's where we will, it will be I have different i have like different categories on my amazon storefront i look like my ear does look like my i'm gonna go show my pin up the ear but um yeah you could check out my amazon storefront you will see the lashes and stuff linked there the brand is minx links so yeah just check out my description box and you can find it that there and any other little thing that you guys are wondering about you can check my amazon storefront i'm finally so happy that i have that so that you know because i know you guys always have questions like so when we can't find this, when we can't get that, when we can't this way, I'm in a double like it. Even though the Amazon store for Naga have every, every, everything, it will still have some stuff that you guys see me with. So check that out. 
and for everybody that has supported my store friends so far oh my gosh thank you so much um <laughs> So, yeah, I think the lashes are a go. They just lasted a week for me. For some people, they said they last longer. So, I think it all depends on the, the adhesive that's being used. The one that I used came specifically with the brand. So, yeah, that's that. Now, I am playing Jane and I really don't mind, you know. Sometimes coffee, sometimes tea. It's good to just be all natural sometimes. All natural. Just taking a breather. Uh... Yeah, so, yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Like, I'm not going to be doing nothing else right now. I'm going to jump into my editing and stuff. I just decided that, you know what, I'm going to come back and close this out. I want to show out to all you guys for keeping up with me so far, supporting my vlogs, sharing my vlogs, just, you know. And, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I know it's easy to forget, especially when you're watching on your television. It's very easy. But I want to, you know, thank you guys. And I like all the newcomers. Hi, welcome. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free. And turn on your post notification bell. I upload every single week. <sighs> I haven't been able to upload like twice a week from the year start. But at least every single week. Um, If I miss a week, that means that, you know, I'm really, really busy. <laughs> and you'll get whatever content I have from the previous week in the next vlog. But I try my best to stay as consistent as possible. Um, yeah. So I'm very grateful. Yeah. So just go ahead, click the subscribe button, and keep on supporting your girl. I also have like a few videos that I'm coming with over, like regular videos that I'm coming with over on my main channel. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that and uh, follow me on Instagram at Petite Essence. Follow me on TikTok at Petite Essence. I know I'm not I'm not as frequent over there, but I'm about to get way more consistent over there and stuff. So, with all that being said, thank you for watching today's vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't want to chat Bye. Hey boys, cool.